Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode of Nerd Pack, where we will be finding a pet bat today. I know, it sounds interesting and awesome, doesn't it? Everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's gonna find a pet bat! I know, right? It's gonna be amazing. But first, I wanted to do something real quick. <clears throat> something that needs to be done. And that is, I want to wish a very happy birthday to Scott, which is a son of Dave. Thank you very much, and uh, for watching as a family as well. And we will see you guys in the next episodes, as well as this episode. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. There's a chicken right there. We're going to need pumpkin pie in order to... Ooh, move my mouse a little bit too quick. We need pumpkin pie in order to do this, which means we need to find a pumpkin. That's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do, but I'm pretty sure we can find it. Oh, he's done, and he's moving in, so that means I'm going to start getting some money from him. So let's go ahead and head out this way and see if we can find a pumpkin or two. Because we just need like one or two. Probably just one for a pumpkin pie. And you need to have a slice of pumpkin pie. And what that does is that will, uh, well, supposedly, what I can think about is it will probably help out in leveling up just like the dog that we have. Also, by the way, we probably need to find, if it would be awesome. See, there's the problem I have with these things. Sometimes they render and sometimes they don't. Ah, see if you, if you don't get too close to them. Oh no, see? Maybe those aren't like really there. Maybe that's how that works. Those other ones weren't, they were like fake. That might be true, I have no clue. But we are going to need to find, see? There we go. There's another one. Like, maybe one of them's fake and one of them's not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that and trick you. I have no clue. Alright, so we're finding... Ooh, there's an underground battle tower. I looked in the configs for the battle towers, by the way. And I didn't find anything noteworthy except for how to actually enter your own items into the battle towers. So, I might eventually do that to my mod, but... Uh, You'd have to enter each item you want individually. I don't know how to actually random, like, round robin the loot in them. It'd be really cool to figure that out. I don't really hear the rain. Didn't they change that in 164 where you could turn the rain down? I'm not sure how that works. Or maybe that's 17. I think 17 has the rain thing down because I can hear the, everything but the rain, which is good. It's actually really good. Maybe you have to be... Huh, I don't know. I was going to say, maybe you have to be on the ground to hear the rain, but... I don't hear it. Maybe pet bats can't hear rain. But I thought... Bats go by hearing. The whole time. I guess I could be wrong. I have no clue. So, uh, Aaron Barton says, please change the height. It's very annoying. Like I said, we're going to wait until we get a blaze or some sort of flying method before we can definitely change the height. But when I'm on the ground messing around, I'll try my best to remember to change the height back. Where in the world would a pumpkin be? Where did pumpkin spawn? Like, I know pumpkin seeds spawn in dungeons. But pumpkin spawn in... Oh, really? Taint? At least it's a little far away from home. Look, the cow's turning. He deserves it, though. What is that? Uh, like a rose or something? A rose by any other name is still a rose. Isn't that how that goes? I think it is. It just seems awful quiet without the rain. Very ominous. Uh, the Rising Dead 1875 says, Nearby, can you try and get the Blaze Morph mod as soon as possible? Because it does annoy me from you being low to the ground. True. True, true, true. See? See, watch this. Now we're still on the pet bat. I changed the configs finally. Ooh, there's a spawner. We could happen to stumble upon some seeds. Inside of that. I'm just saying, we could. It could be possible that we could get seeds inside of this. Uh, 
portal gun. I hope we didn't blow that up. That's probably a good find. That was a really good find. We can die. Oh. Oh gosh. We're gonna die if we don't get out of here. Be very, very careful. Whoa. How does he see me? Okay. This is not good. I don't think you can reach me from up here. There's a portal gun down there. I don't think I grabbed it either. My inventory's full. I should have not had my inventory full. Let's see, what do I not need? Can canola seeds can go away. That can go away. I don't know if we can find it any other way. I just don't want it in my inventory. So, let's go ahead and get that out of my way. What else? Uh, rotten flesh. I think we already had some eyes at home. Whatever the heck that is. Oh, I also turned it on where if I'm a mob, they can't, uh, only the same mob can figure out who I am. Alright. Now that that's all done. Whoa! They're growing bigger! Angry zombies. Did I get the portal gun? Please don't say the portal gun blew up. There it is. Okay. Empty map. Don't really need that. Uranium? Sure. I'll, I'll take uranium. Um, hmm. Iron bars. Amber. Oh, there's emeralds. Oh my... No! Well, good thing is we can get back there. Bad thing is we have to get back there. <laughs> it's good and a bad thing. Alright, let's make a sword real quick. I ain't messing with these guys. We're flying back there and getting our stuff back. Let me know down, by the way, as well, guys. Uh, where is it? This way. Um... If you guys want to see me not be able to morph into different things when I die, there's an option inside of the morph mod that if you do die, uh, all the abilities that you have obtained, you get deleted. So that would make it more challenging. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would want to see something like that as well. Leprechaun Gold Gamer says, Your forms don't work. Can you please fix it? What forms exactly? So I can see the mods. The forms doesn't have anything about these mods on there. The White Cracker says, All right, Nearly, let's be honest. This series is awesome. I speak for all of us who can't always watch the stream. You're doing YouTube. I love this nearby style. Keep it up. Oh, and do also, do I remember me? Do you, <laughs> The White Cracker. It sounds familiar from the live streams. It does. You know, for the first NERB pack stream and one not too long ago when I said I disowned me when you got famous. Love the fits. Oh, okay. I did not disown you. And I've never been famous, but okay. John Robinson says, You should have a Nermion monster who drills down to bedrock and destroys the land. When you kill it, you get all of the resources to diamond. See? Now that would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty awesome to have a mob that automatically gathers resources for you. Oh, those angry endermen are dying. Or not really angry endermen, the, the, the tiny, the midget endermen. I'm making sure I don't pass any pumpkins. I found a freaking portal gun. I want my freaking portal gun back. That's all I want back. Portal guns are awesome. Especially at this early stage. In order to find stuff. And get back home really fast. Sax Op says, would you be able to add a nerf house to villages? That'd be awesome. I have no clue how to even start that, but it sounds amazing. Like, I don't have any tools or anything, but maybe a nerf house that adds a furnace. Oh, they're not even, he's not even down here right now. Like, he doesn't even care about me anymore. He's like, 
Whatever. Whatever, I do what I want. Uh, let's see. Throw that out. That out. Definitely don't want to lose the builder's wand. What else do we have that's... There's a chest, but that's not really needed. Some thalmium ingots. Hmm. Some torches. You know what, we can find plenty of those. There we go. That's what I wanted. Light this place up so I can see the other entities that I'm missing. Doesn't look like anything else I want. I like the portal gun. Oh, it's daytime. How much money did I make? Whoa! I collected rent right there. Three dollars and sixty-five cents. That was definitely worth it. Maybe under this tree we'll find some pumpkins. Oh, that's right. This does it backwards, doesn't it? Or does it? Is that not allowed to take that type of tree down? I'm confused. Spoils bag. You know, spoils bags are definitely good for something. Thalmium hose aren't. We're at an area where you'd think you would find pumpkins. Just a plain field area. Oh, but we found taint. What if taint reaches a pumpkin? I wonder what happens. Do we get a tainted pumpkin? Maybe. 775 me wants is if you give Bingo some training treats, he will get one point to use, but however you can use training treats... You can't use training treats the whole time. You have to higher level. Oh, okay. So you can use training treats at first, and then you have to use higher level treats. That makes sense. You die. You go away. You go away. And you die. Alright, cool. Material emancipation grill. Unfinished, do not use. Uh, okay, we're not going to use that. Safari nap might come in handy. Another spoils bag. You never know what could be in these spoils bags. So, don't need a record. For shears. You know, we're going to keep the rest of the stuff that we have. Decided. It's been decided. There's an altar. You can't get pumpkin seeds from just hitting the ground, can you? I don't think you can. I think it's either dungeons or finding them naturally in the world. Should get a mod that actually puts them naturally in the world. Wow. Nice thunder, by the way. Look how flat this ground is. This would have been awesome if it wasn't infected with taint. <laughs> 101 Cool James says, I remember that song, We Built This City. Yep. Good old days. Oh, pumpkins. Look at that. See? We found some. Who would have thought? Who would have thought nerves would have found some? Let's go ahead and get rid of Gotta get rid of something. Well, oh, Tinker's Construct doesn't work too well right now, so we can get rid of that, I guess. And we need sugar, too, but I'm pretty sure we can find some sugar cane on the way home. Let's see, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin 
pie. Sugar and an egg. I'm pretty sure we might have an egg back at home. If not, I'll just kill a chicken or two. Hey, look, there's dryads. What happens when you kill a dryad? Anyone? Besides being able to morph into one? Nothing? That's awesome. Alright, we'll just make sure we kill a chicken or something when we go back home and grab some sugar cane and we'll be good to make some pumpkin pie to get a pet bat. Might as well go with all the pets that we possibly can. I can do a pet buddy. The problem with a pet buddy uh, is it doesn't really... You know what? We don't need that right now. It doesn't really do anything except for like pick up blocks that you might have missed. And I think it's only coded to pick up one block that you missed. So Again, it's not really awesome. Oh, look at there. There's a tiny... Aw. See, wasn't that so cute? I know. It was really cute. They were really low chance of spawning. I was surprised that we saw two of them. I think as soon as you kill a creeper, and not like a creeper explodes, but if you accident actually get to kill a creeper, um, one of those should spawn within a, like a hundred block vicinity. And you should be able to like use them for something. Whoa! That's a netherrack dungeon. Does that have better stuff in it? Soul sand and all that. What's at the top? <laughs> oh, okay. He doesn't like me doing that. Okay. I understand. <laughs> Oh, got rid of him. Ooh, ender pearls, diamonds. I'm liking that. All I have to do is go to the top to find diamonds now. But that can be used for food. Hmm, you know what? Bow. Don't need the bow. We can find plenty of nerve ore. There we go. It's not like he's going to path to me, you don't think, right? I hope not. He'll have to like cross a ravine and stuff. I don't think he'll be able to pass to me. Well, at least I'm crossing my fingers. Let's see if these chickens have dropped any eggs over here. You know any egg drops over here? I need one egg. I'm afraid I might not have one egg. Uh I'll get rid of that. Come on, one egg. If I had some force, maybe there's some force in one of these bags. We can make some force shears. Amazing Technicolor glasses. Uh, they don't do anything. I don't see anything colored. Maybe you guys can tell me what those are supposed to do. I don't see anything happening. Uh, let's see, rotary craft manual, some tears, some buckets of force. See, we don't need buckets of force, we just need force. Another rotary craft manual. Another rotary craft handbook. That's a weird crystal. Melon seeds. See, we could have we could have turned those in with the EE. But I'm glad we found pumpkins, anyways. We don't have to wait for them to grow. Come on, chickens. Throw out an egg. You know you want to. You know what? We'll just go home and get some four shears and shear, shear a chicken, because that's a sure way to get an egg. A very for sure way. How far away from home, anyways? Can't be too far. This looks like something hit here. Oh, we need that salt. Let's go ahead and throw that out. I know, I'm throwing my own mod stuff out. That's pretty sad, right? But this salt is good. We can definitely make a... Uh... What is it? What's it called? Zombie food. 
with this stuff. And who doesn't like zombie food, right? Oh, there's some more. Nothing. I think I gotta figure out how to add items to that stuff because it would be cool to have items added. What is that? Is that water? Yeah, it's the water that goes all the way to the bedrock. Isn't it? Lava. Kinda want to. Aw. Being a pet bat, it's not gonna be able to scoot those guys over. There's some more chickens. Chance of them laying an egg. Futile. Very futile. There's some more chickens. You know what? Chickens, I know you're there. We're going to come back to you. Is that cat following the cow? Really? That's strange. Dexter Johnson says, Hey, nearby, I love your videos. Hope you continue on this pack. Please mention me in the next video. Done. And done. And done. Frog Killer says, Yes, I was starting to get bored, but you saved me, nearby. You saved me. Hopefully we can end up getting our pet bat. I'm a bit scared we're not going to have enough time and we're not going to have the egg that we're going to need. Might as well gather it. It's kind of nice to have basic resources that you wouldn't find out in nature. I mean, you would find out in nature, but kind of hard to get, like string. Because you have to kill the spiders for it. Kind of hard, uh, nice to find that stuff in chess. Ow. And it doesn't make it too overpowered. Because you figure a lot of battle dungeons would make it overpowered, but not if they only provide simple stuff. I almost want to go to the top of this one, but I'm afraid he's going to destroy my stuff. I wonder if there's a way that I could wrench the chest without him knowing. <laughs> Whoa, he activated it. Never mind. Can you fall off for me? Whoa. He's gonna stay up there, I think. I think he'll be good. Just stay up there. Okay, be angry. Let's see our finished house. Because it doesn't look too finished to me, but... That could just be my design. Now if we, if, we, if we right click this, we can... Or it's this one. Whoa! Where did he come from? What? Where did the fire come from? And we need to put it out. I don't understand. How did he hit us from all the way over there? He destroyed my block too. How dare him. Wow. He's aiming from all the way over there. He's a really good aim. You enjoying the water there? They stay back, we don't want to die. Is he healing himself? I think he's healing himself. I got him! Yay! Now we don't have him attacking anything. Without its power, the battle tower will collapse. It's already like torn into pieces. Let's see, do we have an egg? Apparently, the 
glasses didn't help out very much. And I don't see an egg. I could be blind. But I don't see one. But we do have force. Shears. And we do have a portal to some chickens. Wherever they are. There you girls are. Hello. I need your eggs. Thank you. In case it takes multiple apple pies. Or pumpkin pies. Apple pies. Where'd that come from? Uh, let's see. Some sugar. And some pumpkins. Alright. Now I just need to find a bat. That shouldn't be too hard, should it? Just tame a a bat with a pumpkin pie. Seems legit. Whoa. Easy there, spider. Is like all waiting to take me out or something? one this way. There's quartz. Look at all the chickens. Wow, they multiplied. They're mad that I killed. Or, oh, there's one. Hey, bat. Dragos? That's the bat's name. Dragos. How do I pick him back up? Oh, you have to hit him. Nice. Uh, we're gonna call him Scott. Why? Because it's Scott's birthday. He's adorable and only slightly weaponized. His health is 16, experience zero, missing for the next level, 25. So now we have a pet bat. What's with the lighting effects? Oh, yeah, because I have them in my hand, I can see in the nighttime. I told you we would get a pet bat today. And did we? We did. We conquered all by getting our pet bat. Bingo, we have a pet bat now. That's awesome, right? You can just throw him out and he'll fly away. Actually, I don't know where he went. Where'd you go? Hmm. Uh, that's probably not good, pet bat. Being in the ground's probably not that good. You okay? There, Scott? I just like how you can throw him out, especially since I'm flying, so I could just be like, shh. Come on, Scott. Follow me. Oh, if you get too far away from him, he comes back to you? Is that how that happens? He does. That's cool. That's cool. So you can never lose good old Scott. Oh, wrong thing. Alright, so this is the house that this guy lives in. So if I had any other simu crafts, would it recognize that this is a four person house? I mean, I hope it would. Dude, you have an apartment. You have an apartment, yet you choose to wander around in the ocean. You make no sense there, Juan. No sense. God. These guys will never learn. Never. Sammy Stiffer says it's annoying and pretty weird that you're one block tall. I know, guys. I know. This whole episode, I've been one block tall, and you're probably like, no, nearby. You asked us. Actually, now I can sleep while I'm morphed, too, so. I could be a giant, though. All right, so our next order of business is to get Bingo here leveled up. So since we have a pet bat... Aw, he's so cute. 
and we have bingo our next order of business in the next episode will be getting bingo leveled up so that's going to take wheat and all that because uh bones are not going to be cheap but i think we whoa why sugarcane tile entity that's weird i didn't wrench sugarcane did i at any time um Let's see if I can place it by water. Watch me crash. Oh yeah. I don't think I rent sugar cane at any time, but we probably need to plant some. There we go. And we need to have him starting on another house because he's making us money right now. Money, 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 money. See, it shows him as a resident. I don't know what that block is. Juan, stop wandering around. Everything's gonna be okay. I wonder what's in these rotorcraft manuals. I have not looked in them at all. But it seems like there's one in every single bag. Handbook, handbook, handbook. Throw that out. Throw that out. Okay. This is gonna be fun. What is that? Lubricant hose? These actually carry the canola oil lubricant from the grinder to the gearbox. The transmission is done automatically and they will connect to any grinder or gearbox automatically as well. Interesting. For reinitiate this will reinitiate re whatever. What's that? Pipes carry water or lava from pumps to machines. Fuel lines. Jet fuel to the engines. Nice. Intermod interaction. These are the conversion ratios and behaviors between shafts, powered machines, and other mod machines and items. Megajoules to watts. So one megajoule equals 56 watt kilowatts. Fuel bucket energy, 33. Extractor duplicate rates. Normal ores is 50% chance per step. Nether ores is 75% chance per step, and rare ores is 90% chance per step on duplicating through the extractor. Interesting. We're going to have to get into this as well, because this looks pretty amazing. But we will all have to do that on another episode. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by, and we will see you guys once again in another episode of the Nerd Pack. Bye everyone.